How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to review this white vinyl kit for your Model 3 center console. This is from EV Armor. So let me just open it up and show you what's inside. You have these cardboard protecting it. So we're most interested in the vinyl pieces over here. One of the center pieces, another piece over here. These appear all to be pre-cut. And there's like a little mark here because whoever put it in my mailbox had to kind of fold it a little bit. So I don't know if this is going to stay uh, after I put it on. Here is the cup holder area. And then this is the piece for the upper part. It comes with some alcohol wipes, three pre-moistened lens wipes, a little scraper tool to help you put the vinyl on, and this to put your car key. Let's try that. Okay, this last piece, I think it goes over here on top of this black part. This is the smallest piece over here. I'm going to remove this because this appears to be the easiest piece to do first. It does look like this is the top of this piece here. The corners over here actually bends in and this vinyl appears to kind of wrap around the corner nicely. Get out all the air bubbles. And I seem to be able to do this just fine with my fingers. So now I'm done with this one. That's pretty cool. I can see a slight line of black over here, but we'll see if we can see that when I put it back on. Oh, I like it. I guess I didn't really expect to like this. Um, the company sent this to me to just try it out and you know, I put it on and kind of pretty nice. I guess it's going to protect it against any scratches, but personally, I'm not really into like screen protectors or like phone cases or anything like that. I like to use things bare. Next up, I'm going to try to put it on this middle piece over here. So I'm going to get my cleaning cloth, just kind of wipe off everything first. Use one of the alcohol wipes here. Top of middle piece start here. So you need to be like that. The sun's about to go down. So I better hurry this up to at least finish this piece. I figure I need to get out all the air bubbles. Well, that's how you do it, I guess. You just kind of shove it in there and just try to wrap it around. And then also, wow, this looks great. More white. This actually looks pretty good. I mean, I'm digging this white over here. Uh, yeah, I think I really have to like get in someone else's car and see the white myself and then go, oh my gosh, that's what I want as well. So pretty cool. Given that I did that with relative success, I was really afraid because it's like this giant sticker thing and I'm gonna mess up or something and leave a lot of bubbles, but it's relatively easy. You saw how I did it, so now I'm a little bit more confident, so I'm gonna try to do this little uh, cup holder area over here and make that white too, so let's do it. I'm gonna take off that middle thing, second alcohol wipe out of three. Bottom of cup holder start here. The most important part is to get the cup holder correct. I'm gonna try to fit uh, the bottom to this edge over here. I peeled off part of it. This is the other side, so I'm gonna flip it over. I ended up thinking that the best way to do this might not be starting from the edge. I want a registration with the cup holder first. I've cut this line over here, so I want this to match with the cup holder underneath at, you know, where this line is. And I'm gonna match that here, and then I'm gonna put that, you know, stick this down. So I've matched this to the cup holder. I've cut it as close as I could, and if I push it down, you can see it will match right up to where that black spot is. And then, now I match to the left side so that it goes all the way butt up against the edge here. And also on this edge, now they cut this exactly perfect, so you have to line it up very precisely. 
And now I'm gonna go from this line out this way. This seems to be a better way of getting all the bubbles out. Yep, I like this way much better. Before when I went from this side, I couldn't get it so that this is completely straight. If I tacked it down here and then tacked it down here, uh, this wasn't straight. So when I registered here, and then I made sure this is uh, completely parallel on both these lines, then, then this is perfect. Yeah. Oops. It turns out we really need this little plastic piece to keep the shape of this cup holder as we are folding it out. Well, I think I didn't do the best job over here. A little short here, a little long here. Dang it. From farther away, it looks just fine because this is black after all over here. I'm in my garage now, it's another day. And I'm gonna finish the rest of this wrap. What we see here is I got this black panel here. And if we look from a lower point, uh, there's this little strip all the way up here. So the remaining is this piece and this piece over here. I got one alcohol wipe left, so I'll just use this. Bottom of top piece start here. So I'm just gonna fold it first and I'm just going to try to get this corner over here. Both corners match up. It looks like it's matching up pretty well here. And then I wanna make sure that if I lay this down, it's going to be parallel to this edge here. This looks really nice on the surface, but when you open it up, you can see the little seam over here. It doesn't go all the way down. If I close it all up, it looks very nice, actually. All white. Let me show you guys a mistake I made over here. If you see it close up, you see there's this little black gap. I couldn't help it. And on this side, it was a little bit too far, maybe by two millimeters, so... That was my mistake. Most of the time, you're just gonna look at this cup holder, two black things, and you know, you're not gonna see that there's a little gap. Well, that's what I tell myself. So now let's do the last part, which is up here. This is the final product. With the armrest, if I pull it up, looks pretty good on this edge. And then you got this white piece right here. So there you have it. I installed it. What do you guys think? Nice white seats goes with the nice white center console. And then I got the white bar over here. I think it looks pretty good. So there you have it, a review of this EV Armor. If you guys are interested in trying this out for yourself, you probably can do it a little bit better than I can after seeing the little mistakes that I made personally. Uh, if you're interested in this product, check out the affiliate link down in the video description below. And as always, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, let me know if this is something for you. If you have the white seats, you wanna get this one, or I think they have other colors too. And as always, push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.